All right, now we're going to show you how to create a, an array collection. And this is so super cool. And it's super cool because I'm bringing this XML right into Flex without writing a single line of PHP. And if you've worked with Flex 2 and you're writing tons of PHP to generate that XML code, now you're getting it for free. Isn't that fantastic? But you might be saying, hey, Mike, you know, I'm a little bit lost because we got this 320 by 240 YouTube screen. I can't see everything. Can you help me out a little bit? And yeah, yes, we can. And all of this code is up on Google Code. So go to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex WordPress. And I've actually put a, a download up there. And in that download, it's just a simple Word doc with all the code that we generated in these last two lectures. And here it is right here. Let me show you on Google Code. Just go to Google Code. And here we're in Project Home. And in Project Home, just hit Downloads and download the grabbing XML array collection dot doc and all that MXML code is in that Word document. Let's get started with creating our array collection. So I'm in the Flex Debug environment and I want to make a mental note of where the address is to the data. So if I click on Event, then I go to Result, then I go to Response, Data, and then Row, there's my data. So let's keep that in mind as we go back to Flex and we actually program an array collection. So let's close this. So I'm back in Flex and I want to actually grab this XML data and stick it into an array collection. So let's create a variable. Private bar and we'll call this variable my WP post and colon and array collection and go ahead and hit that code hinting there and notice as I clicked on the code hinting up came immediately my import MXM collection array collection so I don't have to do that it, it actually is brought in automatically and that's great and let's go ahead now and use that array collection to actually grab that XML data so we'll go my WP post equals and now here's my address event result response data row so there's that's what you had to make a mental note of and now let's go ahead and run this in the debug and see if indeed we actually grab and bring that data into the array collection so I've toggled my breakpoint at the end of my curly bracket at the end of my result handler and I want to go to debug mode let's click on that hit yes and I want to go to expressions. So let's create an expression. So go ahead and go to add watch expression. And mine is my WP post. And hit OK. And immediately that's going to grab that array collection, show me what's inside of it. And you can see indeed all that data, that XML data, is now being brought into my array collection. And that's how you bring data in. 